The program has got this kind of triple aspect, looking into the past, using all kinds of academic fields, which are related to heritage studies. And at the same time, we also rely on various academic and not so only academic fields, which are dealing with business issues, management, policy making, because they are all relevant how present day society and future society will deal, will handle these elements of the heritage. Therefore, our educational program is designed in a way that we have got the two aspects together. One of them is the theoretical one, to understand all the related issues. What about memory? What about different types of academic fields with their approaches? What is archaeological heritage? What is artistic production? And the other aspect that how we are dealing with them when they are not simply targets of academic research but they are also questions for present day society. The way the program has been structured it doesn't offer students only to be uh, scholars but also practitioners in their perspective countries and it's, uh, it has a different kind of diverse cultures. We understand cultural heritage in a holistic way and we want to present it in this way for the students of the program. Cultural heritage is everything but in a way we inherit from the past and we are dealing with this because we want to save it for the future. Cultural heritage isn't only about wanting to preserve, it's about learning how to preserve how to speak to different kinds of audiences, what is the methodology, what is the way our graduates can go out into the world and preserve. Because it's not enough to want to preserve, you have to know the different paths to preservation. Heritage is a growing sector and it is a global sector and it's increasingly important for the global economy, for national economies, it's increasingly important for minorities to claim rights or claim their share of national resources here and there. It's an increasingly important discourse and symbolic resource for a number of people. We learn from each other's experiences and background and we are able to help each other. I think it was the perfect decision for me because you, uh, cultural studies program does not only direct you to a research field at all because it has the human rights issue, it has the policy issue, it has the management issue, it's dealing with the real life issues in general. It's a really interdisciplinary program that means that we are dealing with so many different subjects including art history, archaeology, architecture, museum studies and much more. So it's a really open program. For us, there's the opportunity to take not only the courses that are offered and organized by the Cultural Heritage Studies faculty, but I've taken uh, courses from the Anthropology Sociology Department, the History Department, the School of Public Policy. We had a lot of uh, opportunities to go on the field and a lot of interesting field trips, also abroad. Also, we had the opportunity to organize our own events here at the university. With the second year students, we made almost one year long project, which resulted in a one week cultural event here at the CU. CU is a university which has got a city campus in a historical city centre. The centre of Budapest is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and therefore it represents a unique collection of built heritage, other elements of culture, of a Central European character and therefore we don't have to go very far. We use actually our own buildings as teaching material. We have got a beautiful monument building which is a 19th century urban palace, an aristocratic urban palace which is now used by the university. Budapest was a heaven for me and it's still a heaven for me because it's 
uh, you just have so many opportunities in terms of intellectual life and cultural life. I have to say all this is taking place in a city rich in its own personal history, rich in layer upon layer upon layer of events and history which shape the face of Budapest. Heritage is now a very complex issue also from the institutional point of view because you may work for some governmental authorities or for monument protection but at the same time Heritage is an area where you have got lots of civil programs, NGOs, so they can go to these or they can obviously work for international organizations with their international uh, study background. With the cultural heritage studies, it involves directly how culture makes an impact today, but also how culture can be used by its agents in order to further their own conditions socially, um, how to ensure the continuation of cultural aspects, and also how to expose this to other people and, and benefit from it. <laughs>